back. We're in Gothenburg. And now we're just waiting on Wi-Fi until we find out where to meet our friend. But we're tired, so we're okay with that. We have quite the balcony view here. Thank you to our Swedish friends. Brilliant. So we've been documenting the whole road trip. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's why we just randomly filmed some that. <laughs> Growing with the boys. Yeah. We've been, we haven't eaten since late last night. And it's like two o'clock. So we made way too many sausages, <laughs> but we're good. Because we're in Sweden. Yeah, we did not picture Sweden as like a coastal waterfront country. I guess if you take the train or the tram far enough. <laughs> You're too tired to ride today. So we're just exploring. Back to the tram. We're going to the city alone for the first time. We're not paying for tickets for the tram, so hopefully we don't get caught. We're taking our bikes, which we're not allowed to do. Uh, but we're in Gothenburg, Sweden. Didn't specify. Subscribe. Just finished up building up the bikes. So excited to fell cruise around the city. Say the story about what happened on the train last night. Oh, uh, <laughs> this guy was high out of his mind on drugs and he had a very strange looking girlfriend not judging it's just i don't know it's strange and uh they were taking selfies and stuff and i kept looking the guy came over to me barely able to stand up straight you got a problem do, do the face <laughs> you got a problem <laughs> and i'm like no he's like why do you keep looking at me? And I was like, oh my bad. You're talking normally, he wasn't talking okay, normally. Like, why do you keep looking at me? He started walking away. And I like didn't break eye contact. I stared at his eyes the entire time. He walked back over to me and he's like, look down. So I looked down for a second and looked back up at him. And he walked off the train. <laughs> his girlfriend uh, didn't have a single real hair on her eyebrows. <laughs> and uh, was taking selfies while he was barely uh, conscious. Good times here in Sweden. And we did it with bikes and not paying. No tickets, we're in the city. Here we are in another city doing romantic things together like walking through botanical gardens. We ran into people that told us that, that there's a mini ramp somewhere. So we're gonna find that. I'm literally in the bushes and you're telling me to scoot over. This relationship, I've been on the road too long with you. Look down. We're in a greenhouse looking at plants. <laughs> Just randomly at the end of the street. I want to explain that I landed weird and my button fell off. Mason messed up a tail up and something fell off on the ramp and I was like, uh oh, something on his pedal fell off. No, it was the button of his pants. He also has a big hole in his crotch. Mason brought one pair of pants. He's struggling. Let me note that this mini ramp may look like it has coping, but you certainly can't feel it. Which uh, makes it a little bit more challenging to ride. Mason disagrees. My bar is apparently. <laughs> Switch airs 
it off. I'm spoiling Mason after a romantic evening. Red carpet. The wait was too long, no red carpet for Mason. They kicked us out because we weren't dressed nice. Yeah, that's what we thought. But... <laughs> Are we live? We don't have our helmets. Mason's bike isn't working. One of the strangest parks we've ever ridden. There's a lot of people. Show the park. No. Show the park. No. Show the freaking park. Look down. We got like Look 30 down. seconds of footage. We got a nice pan zoom, Rob. Mason's <laughs> such a bad boy. Mason, the polis is here. Uh, we gotta smuggle ourselves back home. So we happen to be in Sweden on a day called Midsummer, which is the longest day of the year. Midsummer. And it's a big party where they dance around uh, a, big wood a, a big wooden penis. It goes into the ground representing fertilizing the crops. And a lot of girls make crowns made out of trees. So that's what Mason and I are doing to, to get involved. We're making, he just disappeared. We're making crowns. <laughs> and then we're gonna go to a traditional Swedish festival party thing and uh, just, just get all cultured with our crowns. We're just trying to get cultured here. Mason is so ready for the festivities today. Look how Swedish. You're blending it with, with the nature. There you go. It's raining. We had to cancel the bikes. But Mason's still ready. Put it on. Put it on. It's not uh, connected. Put, put it on. It's not connected. Put right it on. on. You're embarrassed. No. Swedish heritage. No, I'm not. <laughs> you missed. I guess we're a little late. <laughs> Mason's, Mason's so stoked. Mason's got his crap. <laughs> Mason felt Rob's so bad. stoked. <laughs> Look at us. Mason felt bad. I was only showing his crown. I have a crown. I think we're my late. crown's much better though. <laughs> so that's supposed to represent the penis. Like this? Yeah, like this, <laughs> and then something like this. Uh, I don't know really. Where's your crown, buddy? It's 1 p.m. <laughs> this is our first meal. The first thing we're doing. Yeah. It's 2 p.m. <laughs> We're back with helmets and Mason's bike is fixed. Look how happy the boy is. Where's your crown? I'm scared. It's very windy. And this deep end is in extremely mellow. So we're gonna be Taurus. You can't see it, but there's no eating sign. Mason just eating a Swedish loaf on the train. Have you smelled it? Yeah. It smells like cat food. It smells like my dog. We're going to a summer home to do Swedish things. We had this nice summer Swedish cottage. We got separate rooms. Yeah, we got separate rooms. I'm not talking to Mason I'm for the rest of the trip. Right? Jonathan's nice girlfriend, Anna's family's home. Cottage. Cottage. We're so Swedish today. Look at the golf course, the sunset. Wow. Look at the Swedish sky. Harbor? Okay. Do we call it harbor? Yeah, we call it a harbor. Yeah. Swedish harbor. I'm gonna freaking wreck Mason and golf later. small apartment. But, uh, Back up. I hate him. I'm getting my own room tonight. I slept with Rob for a month. Shot 
Ready to go out for a rip. Oh, I don't even know where we're going, <laughs> but we're on rusty bikes with no air in the tires. My tires folded. No dance. We've done all of Sweden. We're good. We're good. Why is it so bright? Anywhere from three to four times per day, Mason gets something in his shoe. And he's like, wait, guys. That summer home is right next to a golf course. And that mountain we climbed is right up there. More of a hill. Overlooking this golf course. And it's empty, so we just grabbed some golf balls. Yeah, Mason. <laughs> you gotta get a warm up swing in. <laughs> nice, Mason. There you go, you gotta fall through. Roll past 70. <laughs> so we're gonna get away from the from the stress of the home life. Watch this. <laughs> that was the worst one. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my goodness. Listen. <laughs> it's all the wind. Good day out on the range. Subscribe. Agent limpin, limpin. We've, now that we have somewhat of a home base, we've been able to buy groceries and save a lot of money. Thank you to Jonathan and Anna. Rob's wasting all on pastries. No, I'm not. We just bought tickets for Stockholm. They leave tomorrow at 6 p.m. We have last minute plans to go meet up with a friend an hour and a half away. 40 minutes. No, he said it took an hour and a half total to get there. Oh. And we have to guess the bus system. We don't know the bus system or the train system, but we got some instructions from Jonathan, and, but we're going for it. Stay tuned. It's like 10? <laughs> it's 10 p.m. We made the first one. We have no idea what to do. Let's see how we do. Once we get to the second one. So far, so good. All right. Second train. <laughs> This one's nice, this one's luxurious. Step three, we haven't missed one bus yet. We're so much better at catch catching buses now than we were at the beginning of the trip. Our screenshots that Jonathan gave us are in Swedish. We haven't learned any Swedish, so. We're on the last bus, and I don't think we've gotten ripped off. We might have gotten ripped off. Well, we failed to document that we made it last night. But we missed another bus. Yeah, but we missed today's bus, and we woke up and our friend had to go to work, so within 10 minutes we had to be outside at the bus stop waiting and we missed it. We were informed by a nice Swedish gentleman that that bus stop's closed. We have to walk to the Centrum, which is just over this mountain. But Sweden's beautiful, so it's okay. We have successfully made the journey back. Mason wanted to see this spot. And he's not even gonna do anything on it. All right, we're leaving our Life of luxury here. We're headed to Stockholm. Our bus leaves in like three hours. We don't know anyone in Stockholm. Hopefully we don't miss the bus. We're gonna get there at 4 a.m. We have a seven hour bus ride. We don't know anyone. Our friend Danny, who has been in videos before, and his brother Victor are gonna be there tomorrow midday. And we'll just see how this goes. Subscribe. Checkpoint number one. Longest walk done. 
So that's a James's finger. All those disposable pictures he got developed have his thumb in it. Back to where we started this journey. Waiting for hours at this uh, bus station. We're here, so that gives us peace of mind. We're gonna stay in the river. We'll have to deal with it for seven hours. Oh, 